around. So, oh, big deal, you called and complained. Uh, but the stations are letting us know about it. And they're following MSNBC talking lines that Alex says Harry Reid did it for sure. No, I said Harry Reid sure gains from this. And either way, an organic, sick culture of death and abortion caused these type of sick killers. Or it could be staged because these governments have staged things before. Fast and Furious is a staged gun operation that killed thousands. Okay, that's CBS News. They stage it to blame it. We have the memos. They've done it before. That makes them suspects, okay? Undoubtedly, the patsy, or whether he's real, is out of his gourd nuts. It's why I have guns to protect myself. Looks like what methamphetamine does. I mean, meth's a terrible thing. That's the word coming out. They were on a bunch of drugs and multiple three-time losers for all sorts of stuff. And, uh, you know, it looks to me like meth ads. And I've seen enough meth ads to know what they look like. Everybody says it. They look like two meth ads. Man, I'm sick of meth ads. I've known people that were totally normal and got all that stuff and turned into total demons. And that show about Breaking Bad, got, people got on it because of it. I saw news articles. It made it more popular. It's like suicide education makes kids go commit suicide. Even ABC News admits it. I'm going to shut up and go to our guest. I appreciate him coming on. He himself was in, I guess, Army Internal Security in Vietnam, so he knows how corrupt the system is. We've had some nice private discussions. Uh, but uh, his uh, new book, Clouded Titles, it's, it's a new edition, uh, May Day edition just came out. We sell it at InfoWarsStore.com. And who really owns your home? I remember 15 years ago having experts on and not even believing it myself. I saw documents going, they're selling your mortgage up to 50 times. And then I would see court cases where it was true and couldn't believe it still. Now everybody knows it and just goes, oh, they're totally criminal. Well, this is how to stop them and protect yourself. Most lawyers don't even know this. He gives seminars. I've had them on. Lawyers that are in USA Today and stuff, beating the feds, Wall Street Journal. We get them on. They're learning a lot from Krieger. And, and, and um, he's on with us uh, right now, uh, Dave Krieger. Dave, uh, you've got a lot of new breaking news for us today, and I appreciate you coming on. Uh, but I want to just shift gears back for a moment. As a veteran, what is it like for you to watch Baghdad falling to Al-Qaeda today? Baghdad falling is the headline. Exodus and chaos spreads. UN, 80,000, 800,000 refugees. Christians on the run. Terrorist, full-blown army. Medieval Sharia law imposed. Roads lined with decapitated police and soldiers. Iraqi government paralyzed. Thousands of soldiers captured. Iran deploys forces. Americans evacuate. U.S. Secu uh, secretly flying drones. Worst case scenario. Vets, what was the point? It's like punch in the gut. That, that's what's on Drudge right now. We're writing a master article that'll prove they were armed in the West by NATO and Obama to destabilize and bring down the country for Saudi Arabia. And guess what? The Belfast Times has an article with the documents. Kurt was looking around to prove what I was saying. And it was like, oh, it's admitted. Saudi Arabia is taking down Iraq, their arch enemy right now. And Obama's got drones bombing a few goat, goat herders, acting like they've done something. This is beyond Revenge of the Sith scenario. It is. I, I'm just in shock. It's like, you know, why were we there in the first place if it's going to come to this? But I mean, yeah. I mean, the banks sell mortgages 50 to 100 times. The, 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 the government's arming the Mexican cartels. Uh, they, they're arming Al-Qaeda while taking my rights away. I mean, how are they getting away with this? Good question. I mean, America, you know, lets it happen. Just like they let what's gone on in the mortgage industry happen. People were promised, you know, pretty much a house. You, you had a right to own a home in America. And so, you know, we bought that carrot hook, line, and sinker, and everybody ran out. Uh, as a matter of fact, the Haas Institute just put out a new report that uh, basically outlines by markets and by 395 different zip codes uh, how displaced this market is and how many homes, the percentage of homes that are actually upside down in value as compared to their mortgages. And it's just unbelievable in the minorities, the Hispanic and African-American communities are more affected than uh, than most of us. And, and you know, Bill Clinton sold it like it was meant to help them. And the, oh, we love you, Bill, just like letting all the illegals in right now, supposedly to help them. No, it's not. I no, mean, it has been to wreck. For it, and there's more of them being foreclosed on now than ever before. And the, the foreclosures continue. It's meant to wreck this country. I want to break down the breaking news with you. The book is available at InfoWarsStore.com. It's Clouded Titles, new updated editions with case sites. This is the Bible of getting your home back into your hands.
Stop in the banks. I mean, this thing should be a million dollars, but it's very affordable. Infowarsstore.com. Stay with us. Attention all radio listeners. Survival Life is giving away free credit card knives exclusively to our radio listeners. Visit FreeCovertKnife.com to see this covert knife in action and to claim yours free. It's the same knife you've seen in airline magazines for $29.95. But today, it's yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. Go to FreeCovertKnife.com. Go now. That's the sound of your door being kicked in by an intruder with a single kick. Criminals know that your wooden door frames are weak and your alarm system can't keep them out. That's the sound of the same door now protected by the door sentinel. Standard locks, deadbolts, and alarm systems can't prevent forced entry. Harden your door and door jam with a door sentinel. Protect your home now at MySafeDoor.com. Go to MySafeDoor.com for a special limited time offer. The door sentinel, your home's first line of defense. Curious about what comes next? Next is the feeling of vulnerability you get after you arrive home to discover your house has been ransacked by burglars. Fool the bad guys with a new improved fake TV. You asked for it, we listened, and we made our new fake TV three times brighter than our previous model. The brightness of our new fake TV is equivalent to a 40-inch TV. It simulates the color and motion of a real TV while you're away from home. And when burglars think someone is home watching television, they're likely to pass your house and move on to an easier target. The new, brighter Fake TV is only $39.95 and includes free shipping. Go to faketv.com or call 1-877-5-FAKE-TV. That's 877-532-5388 or go to faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Get the most important package of information you'll ever receive in your life for only $10. The package includes three books and seven DVD programs which cover biblical miracles and prophecy. The Shroud of Turin, The Third Secret of Fatima, What Really Happened to the Catholic Church, and more. Call 800-513-0029. That's 800-513-0029. Or go to VaticanCatholic.com. That's VaticanCatholic.com. 800-513-0029. VaticanCatholic.com. Clean water at home, clean water at the office, clean water on the go. The Berkey Guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, GoBerkey.com. Reporters had to sneak onto a military base to get footage of the kids in San Antonio by the thousands. And Fox News is playing the video and not giving us credit. But I'm going to send our reporters back down there into some other bases to get even more photos uh, and footage as well. In fact, the Daily Caller is welcome to use the footage we shot that's in the article that uh, Don and others wrote yesterday. We've got some big breaking news on that front uh, coming up as well. But but I've just got to list these headlines that go to Krieger. Obama admin forbids lawmakers from taking photos of illegal immigrant facility. 
Yeah, they're not letting the president, so we just went in. That's what real press does. Border Patrol changing diapers, heating baby formula for surge of children. Notice how they use the term national security to keep reporters from knowing something while they're destroying the country's security. Our future rests on dreamers. Feds vow to reunite minors with their parents. See, get the kids here, fly the parents here, they're all legal. And it bankrupts the country further. Can I get a free plane ticket somewhere from the government? No, I forgot it's my money to begin with. I mean, this is just getting out of control. While Iraq falls to Al-Qaeda and they murder Christians, the Jews that are left, and the Shiites. And Iran is mobilizing now because they understand this will be an invasion probably into the west of, of Iran because they're arch enemies with Saudi Arabia. This is Saudi Arabia taking over. And by the way, it turns out it's on TV in Saudi Arabia they're doing this. Then they're marching tens of thousands of men to be shot in mass graves, you name it. The Al-Qaeda forces, it is an organized Saudi Arabian brand new vehicle takeover. We're showing footage right now of tens of thousands of men, women, and children being marched to their deaths. Christians mainly. And people are fleeing, 800,000 refugees. I, I, you know, Krieger, I'm kind of going over you here today. I appreciate you coming on because it's like breaking news. Like if it was a plane crash, we wouldn't even be able to interview you. But uh, this is important about the fraud of the mortgages. So we're going to keep you here. I appreciate you bearing with us. I just I'm looking at this footage right now, and I, I'm I'm really having trouble. I mean, it's just all hell's breaking loose, and it's not an accident. The media's like, "Whoa, Al Qaeda's taking over." Our evil government is in, is behind this. Okay, I want to make that clear, folks. But but the long segment's coming up. Just in this short one, tell us the new news you've got, and 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 the the highlights of the war going on with the big banks stealing people's houses. Well, I, I'm wearing black today, Alex. That's because I'm mourning for MERS. Uh, they just got a beat down in the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals in San Francisco. And yesterday, they released an opinion, 31 pages long, in re Mortgage Electronic S Registration Systems, Inc. This particular um, ruling, 31 pages, basically, uh, they, they upheld the uh, four of the five counts that were brought by various plaintiff appellants uh, one of which was contesting these uh, fraudulent documents in the land records, and that is the one count that the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals upheld and reversed and remanded for rehearing. Uh, this was basically stopped by what we call the MDL panel in, uh, in Phoenix, led by uh, Justice Tileborg, James uh, Tileborg. Uh, he's not my friend. Uh, I'd like for somebody actually to go audit his finances to see how much financial stocks that this guy owns. But, uh, you know, frankly, uh, there were some homeowners in Arizona, as well as California, Nevada, Oregon, and South Carolina that are extremely thrilled today with this Ninth Circuit Court ruling because what it does, in effect, is it upholds uh, Arizona Revised Statutes 33 420A, which says that it's illegal uh, to record a fraudulent document in the land records. This goes right along with the stuff that's going on right now because we have some bigger breaking news uh, besides this Ninth Circuit ruling. Uh, MERS got the beat down it deserves and now they actually get to go in and try and prove some of the fraudulent documents that uh, were introduced in this case. And even the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals saw differences in the signatures of even some of the foreclosure mill attorneys signing these documents. I mean, it's incredible what this case does and what kind of Pandora's box it opens. And Alex, speaking of Pandora's boxes, New York attorney Linda Torelli in a bankruptcy case, the, uh, the Carso Franklin bankruptcy case, managed to uncover what I've got in my hand right here, the front page of a document, and it basically says, Wells Fargo Home Mortgage Foreclosure Attorney Procedural Manual, version one. And what this manual does is it instructs attorneys, if they don't have a particular document, to get online, get in the system that they use this little inner office communications third party data center, and communicate with Wells Fargo Home Mortgage Team in Minneapolis and if they don't have, like, for example, a promissory note with all the endorsements and signatures on it to prove their case, well, just contact us here at Wells Fargo Home Mortgage and we'll make one up. And then we'll just send it to you. And, and for you those that don't know, that, that, stay there. That's a huge federal felony, state felonies. That's operating as a title company when you're not one. It is, it, 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 it's counterfeiting. And it, well, it, yeah, it is. And it's, it's ridiculous because, you know, everything what this Ninth Circuit ruling just did is it just at Stay there, Dave. We're going to come right back to you. It's, it's off the charts. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. 
Alex Jones.